Did you know that up to 40% of the population is introverted? According to a study by a professor at McGill University, introversion has many features that are seen in depression, like a limited need for socialization, tendency to be alone, and an aversion to events. However, depression and introversion are two very different concepts that are often mixed together. People who are introverted may mistakenly be labeled as depressed, while someone who is depressed may be labeled as introverted. While it's true that many people are both, in this video, we'll be looking at how you can tell the difference between the two. Definitions. Introversion is a trait involving your preferences with other people. As an introvert, you may find that you enjoy being by yourself more than being with other people. You may find that social situations, while at times fun, drain you, and that you need time alone to recharge. Depression is a type of disorder that affects your mood and ability to function. Depression is most commonly diagnosed as major depressive disorder, which this video will focus on but can show itself in other conditions like persistent depressive disorder, seasonal affective disorder, and bipolar disorder, among others. When dealing with depression, you may notice a lasting sad feeling, feelings of numbness, the lack of interest in doing things you used to enjoy, feelings of hopelessness or worthlessness, and difficulties carrying out tasks. With that, here are some signs that you're depressed and not an introvert. You lack energy and motivation, one of the most common hallmarks of depression, according to the American Psychiatric Association, is a lack of energy and motivation. Having depression can make even small tasks feel impossible, and taking a nap feel much more desirable. Things that you normally would enjoy doing are just too hard, so you may find yourself sitting out of activities much of the time. This is not usually the case for introverts. Introverts may find social activities draining and need recharge time later. However, they will likely have the energy to go out beforehand person who is introverted and not depressed will likely not struggle with feeling overly exhausted and unmotivated all the time. You used to enjoy going out. Another big sign of depression is losing interest in activities that were previously enjoyed. According to Crystal Ray Pohl, a psychology writer from Healthline, people with depression may find that going out with friends is not as fun as it used to be. This is different from introversion as introverts generally do not undergo a sudden shift in their preference. If you're an introvert, you likely never really enjoyed going out, no matter your mood. Of course, it is natural to change preferences over time, and things that were interesting at one time may not be later. This becomes problematic, however, when you find that nothing gives you any enjoyment anymore. You have problems eating, sleeping, or working. Depression comes with a lot more than a low mood. You may find that with it, other areas of your life change. You may find yourself overeating or undereating, that you sleep too much or too little, and that work is impossible. As an introvert, you may find that this is not the case. Psychology writer Jen Grandman from Psychology Today in 2017 states that introversion is related to your personality, and you likely wouldn't experience a sudden shift in any of these areas because of it. You feel worthless. Depression comes with a lot of feelings of hopelessness and worthlessness. That is not necessarily the case with introversion. As an introvert, you may find that you're optimistic and have a strong sense of self and hope for the future. Again, as introversion is your personality, it'll not have such a drastic effect on your emotions. According to the American Psychiatric Association, feelings of worthlessness and hopelessness are telltale signs of depression and should not be taken lightly. While introverts may present as quiet, reserved, or humble, they do not have a bleak outlook on life that is seen with depression. On the contrary, someone who is depressed can outwardly show extroversion and confidence, but deep down feel gloomy. And finally, you isolate, but not to recharge. It's common with depression to self-isolate from the outside world. It's also common to do this as an introvert. While this is the same activity, they're done for different reasons. Psychology writer Jen Grainman explains that with depression, you may isolate yourself because of feelings of unworthiness, hopelessness, or lack of energy and motivation. With introversion, you may keep to yourself just out of personal preference and not because of emotional distress. So while introversion and depression are often lumped together, they're two very different things. Some people simply enjoy their own company and there's nothing wrong with that. If you feel, however, that you're struggling with depression, please know that there are resources and there's help out there. Getting in touch with the right professional can be a great first step to getting your life back on track. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and share with someone who you think will benefit from it. Let us know your thoughts on it in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go to keep up with our uploads and take care.